Hi, welcome to QRS Recycling. My name is Suzanne Green. We are located at our Northside facility up in Hazelwood, Missouri. And we're going to show you today a little bit more detail about what actually happens to your recycling when, once it goes away into a recycling container, all mixed together. That's called single stream recycling. And today we want to debunk the myth of what actually happens to it and show you a little bit more detail. Your materials are brought in by truck, weighed, and emptied on the floor. They're then loaded by a large articulating loader into this drum feeder. Now, this drum feeder is designed to meter out the material evenly onto our system so that it's very easy for our guys to sort. These guys are sorting out any kind of trash, bags, or large bulky items that shouldn't go across our sort line. Now what you see here is the cardboard screen. All the cardboard is bouncing and riding over the top. All the paper and containers then actually fall through the spacers and onto another conveyor belt up to the second sort station. Now this is the second pre-sort. These guys are mainly picking out any small trash or small cardboard before it goes across this fine screen. Dirt and grit are removed and then it goes across this paper screen. The paper rides over the top and all the containers roll backwards. This is the post-sort station where they're removing any kind of containers or contamination from the paper that may have gotten over the screen. Now all the steel, aluminum, and plastic containers will be sorted at our other facilities. This is the end of the cardboard screen. Once the material is separated, it ends up in this pile. The steer loader then pushes the material onto a belt, which actually feeds the baling machine. And this baling machine actually makes these cubes of material called a bale that weigh anywhere between 1,500 pounds to about 2,000 pounds of bale. This material needs to be densified before we ship it out on either by truck or by rail. Cardboard on the sleeve. 10% post consumer fiber. Office paper in this cup. So, office paper and old tests that you may have used yesterday could be made into new tissue paper or possibly new toilet paper tomorrow. So, newspaper and magazine, sure, they can get made into new newspaper and magazines, but they also get made into paperboard, like cereal boxes. Old aluminum cans are made right back into new aluminum cans within 30 to 60 days. So your soup can can be turned into materials like this table or shopping cart. Number two, plastic detergent bottles can get made back into new plastic detergent bottles or they can get made into consumer products like this. PET bottles, believe it or not, turned into Polar Tech clothes, polyester suits and shirts, and 
carpet, soda bottles, they're in there. And stretch film and bags is turned into synthetic lumber, which is used for decks and docks and other types of building materials. We hope this has helped you see a little bit more green behind the scenes.